Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. I had to uh, get a quick video out. People are still trying to justify video games and they're asking questions. What's so sinful about them? What's so sinful about them? And once again, I'll testify my life. So if you want to turn to Psalms 101.3, just want to throw this out there real quick. Turn to Psalms 101.3. I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside, it shall not cleave to me. Put no wicked thing before thine eyes. I played video games, I watched movies, um, had TV shows, like the box sets of se uh, seasons of TV shows and everything. Put no wicked thing before thine eyes. My movies, when I was in the military back in the VHS days, I had tons of movies. I'd say about 100, 120 movies, VHS. I had those cabinets. I had two cabinets full where left. The two doors that opened up had um, two or three rows. I think it was three rows to put VHS, three rows, and then the long rows, three rows. And I had two of those cabinets plumb full of VHS. Then when DVD came out, I switched, slowly switched all the movies I had to DVD, and it also included the new movies that were coming out at the time. So I had a huge collection of DVDs. Um, as a lost person, I went through my first divorce and I left all the DVDs behind. So what did I do? When I came back to Medford, Oregon, uh, I started building up my collection again. And I got up to like 100, 150 DVD movies. And then I had, gosh, I wanna say like all the seasons of at least five to ten TV shows and I built that all up and when I got saved God saved me I was a false convert most of my life when God saved me I started going through all that and saying okay if there's wickedness it seems innocent but let's see if you know let's go through them and I knew them in my head so much that I could go through the movie in my head and say okay I remember that in this movie it's going I remember that in that movie it's going um, I used to watch Murder, She Wrote. I had all the seasons of Murder, She Wrote. And by, gosh, I can't remember if it's the end of the first season or the second season, they brought Sodomy in. But way back then, it's an old TV show, they had Sodomy in it. I had to throw that out. The point is, is put no wicked thing before thine eye, mine eyes. By the time I got done, and it didn't happen overnight, it just over a period of time, I'd slowly get rid of movies that were bad. I had childhood movies that I watched as a kid, all the way up to my adult, what they call adult slash kid movies, which aren't. And then I started going through them all. And like I said before in one of my testimonies, I got down to where I'd given all the movies up, except for two Western movies that I thought were great. What it was is I was trying to hold on to them and I ignored stuff, trying to be ignorant. But God pointed it out. Okay, you see that in the movie? Isn't that a sin? And they're promoting it, saying it's okay. Yes, Lord, they are. One thing that they promote as a sin in a movie, you toss it. It's not worth keeping, period. Oh, well, we can compromise. It was just one little thing and we can... No, it says put no wicked thing before... Uh, I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. Turn with me to 1 Thessalonians 5.22. You say that's just the Old Testament. 1 Thessalonians 5.22. Okay, let's go to 21. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray, God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Okay, I got down to those two movies. Those two movies had to go. Bottom line, I didn't have one movie that had sin, didn't have sin in it. Video games. All my video games, because this is the main point of this. All my video games... I slowly went through them. I knew a lot of them in a heartbeat were satanic. Throw them out. But even the little ones that we think is innocent, they use, oftentimes they have a double meaning. Um, I was playing a game, it was a time waster, uh, Clicker Heroes, I think it was. And you're going through and you're earning money by 
taking out these monsters and that looked like animals and plants and stuff like that and you're anyway it was a it was a time waster you build it up reset the game get more points build it up reset the game and it's just a game that goes on forever and I thought well this is an innocent game it doesn't seem so bad but then all of a sudden just out of the blue you have all these buffs you can click on and one of the buffs had a pentagram with an eye in the center of it it was there the whole time and I chose not to really look I went in there saying I went into the game saying it's got to be innocent I didn't go into the game saying okay is it sinful is it wicked Lord help me to find the sin in here help me to find what's wrong double meanings that's promoting something that goes against your word oftentimes there's double meanings where you're it's part of a, a pagan religion false religion it looks innocent but it has a double meaning I had to get rid of it another game that seemed innocent is there was this penguin game where it's like a if you know what I'm talking about tower defense a lot of people don't know games praise the Lord um, but you get to set up these little towers and you're using snowballs and icicles and all kinds of things to take out these animals that are coming to steal your fish and your penguins and your building stuff well here's the deal it looks innocent it's an innocent game it's not a big deal well first of all they had the animals talking the animals were intellectual they were building stuff that mankind would build man and women would build okay they designed it where it looks like mankind but in the shape and form of animals it was promoting evolution and you say no they're not promoting evolution look at a lot of the cartoons the Sunday morning or Saturday morning cartoons I almost said Sunday Saturday morning cartoons they really promote evolution animals cartoons about animals that talk and walk and act like men and women so you go into the game saying Lord is there a double meaning is there wickedness in this game but a lot of people will say I don't see what the, where, where is it sinful in these games because they don't want to see the sin you go into it saying it's innocent you don't go into it saying Lord is this wicked show me the sin show me the double meaning now let's say in all my games and I played tons of games computer games I think I was playing five or six different online games and all of them were wicked I had to get rid of them I had a PlayStation 3 destroyed it I had a um, Xbox destroyed it um, a Wii destroyed it so um, you keep saying well it's not wicked it's not wicked it's not wicked you're gonna abstain from all appearance of evil and here's what they're gonna get you brothers and sisters in Christ they're gonna say well you go out downtown and you go to the grocery store there's a lot of wickedness there how do you abstain from all appearance of evil what that comment is it's all about justifying sin why because they love their sin or they have an addiction and there should be fighting it but they're given into the addiction bottom line you go to a store I go to Fred Myers I go through the grocery side and I get my food that I need and I get out sometimes there's that wicked satanic style music playing worldly music even songs that I know and I'll start singing a hymn in my head to try to overpower those songs to get what I need and get out something's on sale I praise the Lord for it now very rarely I have to go in the clothes section because I've been starting to order clothes online and having to mail like socks and stuff like that um, but sometimes I have to go in the clothing section here's the thing I don't go down the beer aisle I don't go over into the electronics looking at movies oh, I just want to see what movies came out oh I want to see what's out on DVD oh I'm gonna go in there and look at the anime and see what anime is out and see how big the anime section see how big the movie section is uh, the area where they're selling cigarettes you the whole point is is you don't go out of your way to put wickedness before your eyes you don't you don't go from shop to shop to say hey what's this shop about I mean it looks wicked but let's just go in and see what it's about you don't do that you do your best I only go to Ace Hardware and Fred Myers those are the two big stores there's a couple other stores that have to do with um, the house like uh, lumber there's a place called Harbor Lumber I think it is and you go in there they have the big tanks for um, wells 
and it's just like Ace Hardware. I've gone in there a couple times. There's a big red barn that's way, way out of town. I mean, I have to go way out of town uh, south, and I have to go down there when I was trying to get stuff fixed on my well and the pumping system. I had to get a whole new pump. I go down there for the stuff for my pond when I built my pond. And I've gone to those stores, but that's it. I don't really go anywhere else anymore because everywhere you go, there's evil, there's wickedness. And you do your best when you have control and authority to abstain from all appearance of evil. And I've said this before, the number one place that you, can, you should be, you should be, always be able to um, abstain from all appearance of evil and put no wicked thing before your eyes is your home. That should be the number one place that you are safe, that you can abstain from all of this stuff. But the question was asked, I don't see what's so sinful about them. Now, I have yet to come across one game. I mean, you can go back to like Pong. I always say that's the Atari Pong. Uh, but even Tetris, I think one guy came out and showed, even Tetris has some satanic ties to it and you think it's innocent. Uh, some of the games, the emblems to the games, the game itself might seem innocent, but you look at the emblem of the game, it's satanic. It's got satanic ties, double meaning. So, here's the second part. I don't think you will, but let's say for some reason you're just justifying video games, you don't want to let go of video games, and you're like, why is it so sinful? I don't see why it's so sinful. Let's get to the part where it's always going to be sinful. Okay, wrong side. Ephesians 5.20. Turn to Ephesians 5.20. Ephesians 5.20 Give thanks always for all things, all things, unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let that sink in for a second. Can you give God thanks for video games? I mean, if you're honest and sincere, you're going to say, well, you know what, I really can't can't give God thanks. Oh, thank you, Lord, for getting me to that next level. Oh, Lord, thank you for giving me that item. Do you think, the God, do you think God's really wanting thanks in that? No. Okay. Thank you, Lord, that I wasted an hour of my time playing video games. Can you give thanks in that? No. You cannot give thanks in that. Now, I'm not going to go and say, well, that's really what makes it a sin, but come, think about it. You can't give God thanks in that. Can you give God thanks with alcohol? Oh, I'm drinking alcohol. Thank you for that alcohol and getting drunk or getting buzzed. Thank you for that weed, for, for you know, drug addicts, you know. Thank you for whatever, the cigarettes. Thank you, Lord, for that fast food and all the junk food I eat. Can you thank God for that? No. You shouldn't be. Let me put it that way. You shouldn't be. I'm kind of skipping it to the next part of glory. You can't give God glory and all that. But you shouldn't be giving God thanks for that. Okay. Chastisement, absolutely. When God tries to get you out of sin by chastising him, that's when you give God thanks. But you don't give God thanks when you're doing things that are sinful and wicked and you shouldn't be doing it. Kind of jumped ahead. So turn to 1 Corinthians 10. 30. 1 Corinthians 10.30. Did I read that right? No, oh, 10.31. Okay. 10.31. Whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. Notice it says, whatsoever ye do, your actions, do all to the glory of God. Can you glorify God with video games, movies, TV shows? Now, don't get me wrong. Um, I have a couple, uh, you, call, you can call them movies in the sense that they're they're about a man's life. They're going through about a man's life. 
um, and I've completely forgot the name for it, but they'll say, well, that's a movie, that's a movie. Yeah, but I can glorify God when the guy that's going through their life, it's about their testimony, how they live for the Lord, how they did things for the Lord, and how they died for the Lord. A lot of the few movies I got, I got two or three, it's biographies on people who died for the Word of God, burned at the stake. Um, so, yeah, I got some of those, but I'm saying for the most part, Hollywood movies. Uh, someone, ministry that I didn't support, and I heard this um, from a reliable source, that he said on his video, one of his videos that he did, when someone asked him, what about movies, video games, TV shows? His reaction, what I was told, is that as long as you're not vexed by it, leaves. As long as you're not vexed by it, it should be roughly okay. If you're not vexed by it, roughly okay. And I'm like, if he said that, and I know other people have said that, that I've actually seen up front, when it comes to sin and just trying to justify sin, they turn themselves into the standard. They're the authority. They get to decide what's right and wrong by saying, if you're not vexed by it. And a good example is this. I used to watch TV shows where they had cadavers. They were opening it up and pulling out hearts and livers. And there's a dead corpse on the table. And I was sitting there eating lunch while I was watching that. We've been desensitized today. We should be vexed by it. You go back 50 years, they'd be so vexed by it. The stuff that's on television, they'd be vexed big time. Even the lost world would be vexed. Okay? We're being desensitized. You should not say, as long as you're not vexed by it. It should be, what saith the scriptures? What does God say about it? Okay, abstain from all appearance of evil. Okay? Can you glorify God with video games? I just don't get it why people are so hardcore about video games. I've shown you that you're supposed to abstain from wickedness, you abstain from evil, appearance of evil, and it's all about the parents. If you don't have it in your sight, you can't be tempted by it. It's just a fact. If it's not around you, it helps with not being tempted by it. Okay? But you can't give thanks in video games. You can't give God glory in the video games. Ooh, to God be the glory. I got to level 100. Really? You know what gives God glory? Working with your hands. I've been working really hard with this backyard and it's got put on hold because funds dried up and I've been working hard on the hillside and now that I've gotten the path I'm almost at the well but seeing how overgrown the path is and it's with thorns and come to find out the only thing I have long sleeves that will protect me from the thorns is a sweater and it's getting hot so I can only do it in the mornings but I see that hillside and I wish I didn't run out of funds because this work on the backyard was sweating, moving rocks, bricks. I'd rather do that than deal with all these thorn bushes trying to cut them down and cut them back and getting the path cleared out. But you can do things that glorify God. Listening to His Word, reading His Word, singing hymns, going for walks, um, woodworking. You can do gardening like I'm trying to do. Um, you can do art, good art. I, I always say real art is when you're drawing a picture of something, a person, um, the ocean. I got pictures that my grandma did of actual places in her head. Maybe they didn't exist, but they're like rivers, mountains, animals. You know, none of this junk that's coming out today where it looks like someone just grabbed a lot of paint and threw it on a piece of paper or canvas. Um, there's a lot of things you can do. Sewing. You know, there's a lot of things you can do that glorify God, okay? If you have an ATV, you go for a ride on an ATV and you talk to the Lord, you know, and you can focus on the Lord. One thing about video games, you can't focus on the Lord and play video games. If you tell me you can, I don't believe you. I'm sorry, I just don't. I've got experience as being a video game addict. When I'm playing video games, A, you can't focus on the Lord and your walk with the Lord, and B, it takes you away from the Lord. You start realizing you're not really reading the Bible as often as you should. Okay? You're not praying as often as you should. You're not singing hymns as often as you should. Okay? You cannot glorify God and play video games. And it says here, 
whatever she uh, whatever therefore whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever ye do whatever whatsoever ye do do all to the glory of God same thing about eating well how does eating glorify God are you eating healthy I'm trying to eat healthy there's still a couple things I don't uh, peanut butter is one of them I make peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch every day and sometimes I can afford the gel it's more I think it's jam more than jelly at the farmers market it's almost like um, honey <laughs> I mean you, you put it on it's really super thin I try to get the healthy stuff homemade stuff but sometimes I can't afford it and I have to get the stuff from the um, from Fred Myers so I'm not trying to be a hypocrite but for the most part I'm trying to eat healthy the meat I've got the uh, vegetables I eat rice I know I got a lot of the junk food I don't do microwavable meals anymore I try to reheat things on the oven uh, to the point where I can get to the point where I can get rid of my microwave. I know people who have gotten rid of their microwave. Yeah, it's more work, but it glorifies the God. Glorifies God. It also keeps you from sin. If you ever think about it, you're working hard all day, and you take your breaks and you spend your breaks with the Lord, listening to the Bible being read, listening to a Bible study, listening to good music, uh, gospel hymns, and sometimes I'll listen to music that is no words, it's just piano playing or uh, guitar, I have a CD that I mentioned once, it's a guitar, picking guitar to old hymns, there's no words so I can focus on talking with the Lord as I'm listening and enjoying His uh, outside and enjoying His creation, what He's created. And you realize that the days go by fast when you've been working hard and doing things that glorify God. Now, when I was really, really addicted to video games, the whole day went by fast, but I sat there at the end of the day and it's like you didn't really accomplish anything. You just played video games all day and watched movies and TV shows. I'd watch them like eight hours a day. Um, watch them and play them eight hours, six to eight hours a day when I got retired. After I got saved, it started dwindling down and dwindling down to the point where God got it out of my life. Once again, I don't know how it got out of my life if I try to apply myself. How did I get it out of my life? I didn't. God got it out of my life. You just have to submit yourself to God. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. God is the one that's going to get that stuff out of your life through his word. So, oh, I had one more verse. I almost forgot. So I want to end it with this verse. 2 Corinthians 4.15 Go Still in Corinthians, carnal Christians. 2 Corinthians 4.15 For all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many redound to the glory of God. Did you know oftentimes giving thanks and giving God glory go hand in hand? You're at the store and something's on sale. Thank you, Lord, for... Thank you, Lord. It's on sale. It helps save me money. And only God could do that. That's when you give God glory. Only God could do that. When I get done with the day, the work that I've done, I have a seizure disorder. It's really tore up my muscles. I mean, a hardcore seizure disorder. It took, let's see, seven to nine years to get it under control where I don't have seizures anymore. But by that time... It's done its damage, and I had a major heat stroke that led to the seizure disorders when I was in the military. So when I go down to the work, I can only work for like 30 minutes, maybe an hour, before my body starts overheating, and I've got to go sit down for 30 minutes. So when I look at everything that's been done on that hillside, not only do I thank God, but I give God the glory for helping me do it. Only through God was I able to get as far as I've gotten when I do any physical work whatsoever. Oftentimes, giving thanks and giving God glory go hand in hand. And the whole point of this talk is even though you think that video game is so innocent because I'm getting tired and at this point, when someone at this point keeps justifying with what Brother Brian has taught, um, what I have kept putting out there from my experience, we're not hypocrites, we went through it, we're not just saying you shouldn't do it and we don't understand it, that's the better word, we don't understand it. We do understand the addiction of video games. Brother Brian went through it at King James Video Ministries. 
I've gone through it. JT talks about it a little bit that he was into games too. And we're telling you at this point, if you keep justifying video games, what you're basically saying is, I don't care what God says. I want to do things my way and I want to be my final authority and I'm going to play video games. I've had people tell me they have liberty, they have liberty, and I've shown them in the Bible where it says we have liberty, but Paul knows, it's like he knew people would take that verse and abuse it. And he says that we don't, I don't remember the verse, I didn't write it down, says that we don't have liberty to sin. Sin is not one thing you have liberty to do. You can, it's just not there. But they'll try to use that to justify their sin. Okay? Get rid of the video games, movies, and TV shows. If you've got alcohol in your life, get rid of it. Weed, drugs in your life, get rid of it. Go to God first. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Go through Jesus Christ and His Word. You have to have a heart. The Bible talks about having a perfect heart with the Lord. Perfect heart with the Lord isn't being sinless. You can be perfect in God's eyes. The Bible talks about it. Um, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Notice it's talking about the Word of God. But the perfect part is the heart it's talking about. Your desire for this book. Your desire to live a godly life. You fall into sin and temptation, but your desire to live for the Lord. And if you have that desire in your heart, God will get alcohol out of your life. The reason you're struggling with it, the reason I struggled with video games hardcore and movies and TV shows, quitting them, falling back into them, quitting them, falling back into them, is because... I had a desire, but I kept falling back into it because I kept going back to my desire to, for the world to play the video games and everything. I fought God on it. There's going to be certain sins that people struggle with in their life and it's going to be different for you than it was for me. And you're going to struggle and you're going to realize the reason you struggled so hard is because you fought God. Your heart wasn't truly perfect before the Lord because you kept falling back into the desire to play those games. But I got to a point in my life that God broke me and said, and I said, you know what? I need to have a desire. My heart needs to be perfect with the Lord. I need to have a desire for this book like I've never had before. When I first got saved, I couldn't get enough of this book. It got in the way of a lot of my video game playing and movie watching. But my heart had to get perfect with the Lord so the Lord could get that stuff out of my life. You can't tell me that in five years of being a drug addict, that, oh, I've tried, or I've tried. People get on to me about that. Oh, I've tried, or I've tried. Uh, have you given it to the Lord? Truly given to the Lord and come to the Lord broken. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth you. Through Christ. Are you going through Jesus Christ? So He can get that out of your life. You need to go through Jesus Christ so He can get the alcohol out of your life, the weed, the junk food, Whatever it is that the Lord says, you know what, you should be doing this. Lord, give me the strength to do this. Give me the courage to do this. Witnessing, give me the courage to do this. Give me the courage to hand out gospel tracts. Give me the courage to leave gospel tracts everywhere. Sometimes I have to do it, be stealthy about it because I know once they catch me, they're going to tell me I can't do it anymore. So I have to be stealthy sometimes on a lot of places that I uh, leave gospel tracts. Um, not because I'm ashamed, but you got to be stealthy. God can get that stuff out of your life. Women say, Lord, I want to wear modest dresses. Okay, I don't want to wear pants anymore. It's the apparel of men. And I want to wear dresses. And I want to wear modest dresses. Lord, help me to have long hair. If something happens, Lord, help my hair to grow back. Lord can do all the things. Like, there's certain th reasons why women will have short hair for a while because something happened medically and they'll start growing their hair back out. I understand that. But you go through Jesus Christ and He can get that out of your life. Okay? There's a difference between struggling with sin and justifying sin. And you get to a point where you have to say, you know what, I'm justifying video games and I need to stop justifying it. There's a lot of wickedness in video games, especially today, even the innocent ones that seem to come out today, like I said, I played tons of games, ones that seemed innocent 
ones that really were obviously once you got saved obvious God conviction says that's just total wickedness not one game was was good not one game was innocent and sinless there's no sin okay today it's what Satan is using to pull people away from the Lord my daughter is so addicted to those video games so addicted to them and there's nothing I can do about it we have made that mistake and we're trying to push those that are in it or starting to get into it you don't want to get into video games you don't want to get into things that people have been addicted to there's other brothers and sisters from Christ that have testimonies that was an alcohol cigarettes but back to I kind of skip what I was saying I don't believe someone can go 20 years and be addicted to something and say I've gone through Jesus Christ and I just can't get rid of it for 20 years I've been drinking alcohol as a saved Bible believing God fearing man not as a false convert I was a false convert you know what I've spent 20 years smoking cigarettes as a saved Christian and I'm not saying you're lost but I'm saying you're not going through Jesus Christ you're having a miserable life and you're not going through Jesus Christ now if you're justifying it I might question that's a red flag I might kind of question your salvation and get you to question it to say hey is my heart right with the Lord I'm justifying getting drunk I'm justifying cigarettes I'm justifying video games I'm justifying whatever the God, Bible says is a sin, whatever doesn't glorify God and you can't give thanks in. Okay. That's where I draw the line. Struggling with sin, I have grace. When you start justifying sin, and no matter what we tell you, brothers and sisters in Christ tell you that the Bible says you still keep judge, uh, justifying sin, I don't have grace anymore. Okay. I'm to correct, I'm to rebuke. At that point, between you and God I'm not gonna have anything to do with that sin All right. so it's kinda sounded a little harsh I'm just getting frustrated and I'm getting tired of people justifying video games this was the first thing but they'll there's people out there that justify all kinds of sin I'm sick and tired of people coming out and saying uh, you're going overboard on this I had one guy call me and say I was in a, a cult with brother Brian we're both in a cult all because we're against video games. I'm in a cult because I stand by the Word of God. It's a, all, most of the video games, if not all of them, are sinful and wicked. You can't give God thanks in video games and you can't give God glory in video games. Yet I'm in a cult. That's how bad it is. That's how bad people are addicted to video games. I'm going to say this last point. I'm not one of those people that trolls the YouTube and looks for just any video or anything. I got into looking at some of the campers. I got into looking at some of the people who are living off grid, cabins, building their own cabins. Um, but I came across the video and I went ahead and watched it. Some kid was told he's grounded from video games. That he's not to play them. And it's, I think it's an Xbox 360. So what does he do? He sneaks into the garage, garage. It's just, I guess their garage just had a lot of junk in it. And he builds walls and he basically makes himself a little cave, plugs in and has a little TV in there and he's back to playing the video games even though he's grounded from it. His older brother finds out and he gets the video camera and he's video cameraing all this and he tells his dad, uh, he's out there playing video games still. His dad came walking out there and their house had a pool. He came walking out there and he grabbed that Xbox 360, ripped all the cords out, went to the pool, and he dropped that 360 right into the pool. That kid started screaming, bloody murder. It's the end of the world. It's like someone killed your dog or ripped your arm off or something. That kid was going nuts. He dove into that pool and tried to get that thing out as soon as possible. That's how bad people are addicted to these games. Okay, The lost world, uh, brothers and sisters in Christ that are newly saved, you need to get away from that addiction. You need to get rid of the video games. So that's it for this quick video. God put it on my heart. I'm in the middle of trying to work and get stuff done and someone sent me a comment. Like I said, I was called, put, I'm in a cult like Brother Brian at King James Video Ministries and someone who seems to be honest is saying, hey, What's so sinful about them? Well, do they glorify God? The Bible says you're supposed to glorify God in all things. You're supposed to give God thanks in all things. If you don't think it's sinful, can you give God glory in it?
So I can just keep going in circles. I just really wish there was a way that I can say something that pe you get that point where you just want to say something and you try to say it in every way possible, but no matter what you do, they're not going to listen to you. So I so want to get this out there again and say these addictions, you need to get them out of your life. And you can only do it by going through Jesus Christ. There's no such thing as, as I've had this addiction for 10 years as a Christian, 15 years, 20 years, 50 years. There's no saying I did this, but and I can't get rid of it. I have gone through Jesus Christ, but I can't get rid of it. Please pray for me. You need to submit yourself to the Lord and His Word. You need to get things out of your life that are temptations. That's a big thing. Get it out of your life. So, I love my brothers and sisters in Christ. Hopefully, this has encouraged people to get rid of those things. Um, so, my love, what is it? Uh, grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ and my love for you in Christ Jesus. See you in the next video.